Welcome in. You're listening to a daily editorial on the Coraline Economics Report. Last one that is being generated from the International Investment Conference put on by Cambridge House in Vancouver, British Columbia. Sean Rockamoff is with me. Sean is no stranger to you guys out there and gals. Sean is one of our go-to guys for silver. Very, very bright, bright individual. Sean said, you know, this interview will be really, really simple. We can keep it real easy. Here's the topic. The bottom is in. Al, uh, thanks for inviting me, but uh, that's really how I feel. Uh, the show is about winding down, and a lot of people were surprised by the turnout. Uh, I think it's been reasonably busy. busy. But uh, my explanation for that has been that people don't know what to do. That's why they're here. They're not here to buy or sell. They're looking for answers. What should I do? Uh, everybody has an opinion. That's mine about the turnout. I thought it was pretty good. I thought the turnout was pretty damn good, yeah. So uh, moving on from there to where we're in the market, uh, I believe, and I'm going to go on record here, which is always a bad idea. I don't I know. I believe both the metals, silver and gold, will make new highs this year. So uh, having said that, uh, I think the market is so bad right now, so demoralized, you have a lot of companies trading for pennies. Now, in most cases, that's probably a good thing. There's a good reason for that, but uh, in some cases, they're throwing the baby out with the bathwater, and uh, that's usually an indication. Uh, I mean, if this, uh, if this isn't the flash out, we're almost there. You know, it's interesting. Silver, I happen to I happen to like silver a little more than, than gold only because I like the leverage that silver offers. You know, it's it's easier, the old cliche, it's easier for a something an item selling for thirty bucks an ounce to double than it is for an item selling for sixteen fifty, sixteen seventy an ounce. No question about that. But having said that, I think more and more people are starting to really, really become more concerned, if that's possible, than they have in the past about what's going on economically and politically. And I think that's going to drive people into precious metals. And for that reason, you know, I got to agree with you 100%, Sean. Well, uh, the, one of my um, expressions, I guess, uh, I've developed here recently is the audience for silver is, in terms of uh, investors, is 1% of the population, maybe. The audience for, uh, that's for gold, I'm sorry. For silver, it's 7 billion people. They have a nickel or two nickels to rub together, and uh, silver is, is where they're going to go. If you were to pick a number, I mean, you're talking about appreciation in silver for 2013. How much? Well, uh, from $30, I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see about 100%. Now, I'm not saying there's not going to be ups and downs. I'm not saying it's going to stay there. But I do believe we're going to take out the previous high or we're going to test it at a minimum this year. So you're figuring maybe 60 bucks? Well, the old high was, what, 49.50? Uh, we touched that uh, in 2011. I think we're going to test it again this year. I am betting in the direction that we're going to probably take it out. What happens after that, I don't know, because uh, this market is driven by fear, and uh, it's going to be determined by events outside of the metals. The old black swan potentially flying around. Okay, there you have it from Sean Rockamoff. We're going to check in with Sean more often than not this year. We're going to see if that's accurate. Thanks, man. Thank you.